Nick here, very Various Customs. Today we're doing a few chocolate molds. Uh, we've got a few customers that we do cookie cutters for, which are start to do cookie cakes, etc. And they've asked for some chocolate molds. So we've done a few different shapes here. We've got some domes, we've got some hexagons, we've got some ovals. Uh, we've tried to keep everything with an angle to help release it. So everything here has got about a five degree, 10 degree angle to make sure that's gonna one release from, the mold's gonna release itself and then the chocolates themselves are gonna then come out of the mold. So let's get a sheet loaded up and we'll get one of these formed. Once again, pretty protective coatings off these. Slide in, I like to make sure that I've got the uh, plastic pushed right up to this edge here. It seems to hold better on the front edge than it does on the back edge for some reason, and I've had a few issues. And you've got to make sure you've got quite a bit of tension on these, the less then you know that it's not. It's actually pushing down on the rubber seal inside here. And I'm going to go through, um, select a material, which we have PET G. 0.5 mil is what, what we're using. I Vacuum forming shouldn't need to really adjust that. Load the sheet. Hit the button. And put it up and let it heat up. So we're just about up to temp now. And you can see this has been heated from cold, sort of about five minutes to get up to temp. Once it's up to temp, you know, it's a lot quicker. frame, pop it out, see oh, so if we can pop these out. So the formed up not too bad. Um, you can see there's a little bit of webbing between here, which I was sort of expecting with some of these sharp, sharp lines, but it's not going to affect, affect the mold itself too much. Um, everything seems to be, yeah, on the other side it's pretty good. Um, we've got a few layer lines obviously from here where I haven't bothered smoothing it too much because that's obviously not going to be made into the chocolate itself. It's the centers, which you still may see some minor lines, but you can smooth these right out if you really wanted to get carried away, but this was just a bit of a tester to see how how it formed. Do a little bit more learning on, you know, what you can get away with on forms. So we've got a little bit of chocolate laying around here, so let's melt some and maybe we'll give a couple, couple of the patterns a try and see what happens, see how well they release. Um, obviously we may have issues with these really, really fine ones, but all trial and error. So before we show you the finished results, we're just going to go through some of the mould and what, what worked well, what didn't. Like I thought, these little ones here, they were, they were no good. Uh, these ones here actually stuck as well. It was hit and miss with the round ones. Uh, the problem with the round ones is it's actually quite a strong top, whereas if you've got something that's flat, you can actually sort of press in a little bit. Like, you know, like These ones came out very easy. Um, so anything that was rounded, at the top, like these ones here, these ones here are a little bit more difficult to release. Um, ones to a point, they seemed okay to, a, you know, if you kept them big, they were not bad. But yeah, these ones here, some came out, some didn't. Uh, the biggest problem was just obviously the heat, trying to get them out. Uh, at the size they were, they were melting in my hands. Uh, obviously, having aircon and probably like a bench that you had, maybe you'd cool down a um, cutting board or something just to keep the temp down would help. Um, so, I mean, overall, yeah, they work. Some work, some don't. Once again, this was trial and error to see what will release. Uh, it's one thing getting it to release out of a mould, but then it's another thing again, trying to release a piece of chocolate out. Um, so let's show you the finished result. 
Uh, so these are the chocolates here. Um, you can see most of them are actually come out quite, quite clean. Um, you don't really get too many layer lines on these once you've actually modeled them in chocolate. Like I cannot really see. You can see a little bit, but very little. Um, so it just shows that your mold doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Like if you see, you can see the lines for your PETG um, mold itself. It's not the end of the world. Um, this mold I've done a little bit of cleanup, mainly on just on the top surfaces, more so than on the sides. I mean, you can get carried away and make them really, really smooth, but for these, they've actually come up quite nice with minimum effort. And obviously, when you're, when you're going to make your mold, you're going to make sure you're going to have clean hands, you're going to clean your mold each between, just to make sure you're not, you know, contaminating with anything. So, so until the next video, have a good one.